Stratford has always been known as having a tremendous curriculum. What we're really trying to do now is really uh, incorporate a little bit more of the technology pieces and really amplify and accentuate some of the amazing things that we've been doing for, for years. Technology for Stratford means using effective tools in the classroom with our students, with our teachers, to deliver a, an amazing, engaging curriculum um, that's going to be valuable and impactful. If kids are interested in computer science or technology uh, you know, skills and careers, if they start to get interested in high school, it's almost too late. We're giving them the skills early on in the process. We needed to do a little bit more when it came to engineering for the kids to experience uh, building and failing and starting again and learning the skills that come with that. If you make something interesting for the students and if it's something they really want to do, they learn much more from it. So what we did was, as part of the design, we spoke to some of our students and asked them for their ideas. To bridge the gap between what happens in a classroom and what happens in the industry, we look to our engineering consultants who are guiding our teachers. We're providing the right environment and tools to students to learn how things work, how to make things work, and how to make things work better. Some of the outcomes for uh, this program for the students will be a deeper subject comprehension and an application of their knowledge to real-world problems. They don't have to necessarily be only engineers when they grow up. They can take their technology learning and life skills learning into any subject matter of their choice. It brings the real world into the classroom. So I'm really excited that we are able to provide uh, an opportunity to our graduates to come back and create an impact in our classrooms. The students themselves will be doing food dielectrophoresis, engineering biomedical devices, pill design delivery. So after you have built this virtual model of the city, then you have to move on to building a physical model which has a proper scale. Programming isn't just on the computer. You have to communicate with other devices like a garage door opener is programmed, a sprinkler system is programmed. It's not just building something and kind of putting it together. It's more of going through the research process and going through trial and error. It's complete and it's been engineered well. We have the ability, because we have it integrated in with our curriculum from first grade onward, to really foster that ability for engineering or to be able to tinker and, and not just use devices, but really understand what's, what's underneath all of that. I've always had dreams for my students to go do something and I used to say change the world. Learn more. Tell us your ideas. Become a part of the journey. Follow, Follow our, our blog. blog. Schedule a tour to see our students learning in action.